Okay, I bought some more lithium phosphate batteries. Now, why did I buy these batteries? Because I want to do a um, sort of solar generator and I want it to sort of fit into a toolbox like this. Now, this you can remove these this yellow layer, so I'm, I'm only going to have the two black layers. But I think I can get a pretty large solar generator inside of this like double toolbox and have the batteries in the bottom one and have the inverter and everything in this top one. So that's kind of my plan. But let's start with the batteries. These are the cheapest batteries I could find. These are Lito Carlas. They were not grade A, they were not anything. They were cheap. This is eight 105 amp batteries, um, amp hour batteries for $290 delivered. Um, so these are dirt cheap. So let me cut these open and let's see what we receive for our dirt cheap money. Hopefully they're not too great. Okay, these are these are probably bus bars. Uh, they are bus bars. They are pretty teeny tiny, I have to say. These are pretty teeny tiny bus bars, but um, we have bus bars, so that's good. And let's see what the batteries look like. Is this one big wedge? Yes, it's one big wedge. Okay. <sighs> Cutting this open carefully that I don't damage anything. Um. First impressions, packaging seems pretty nice. Um, let me bring you in here. So, there are eight cells. They all have, um, yeah, that is a laser etched uh, QR code. The QR codes are still there. Um, I don't see any swelling on the expansion plugs. I chose batteries with studs so that um, I wouldn't have to use, you know, I don't, ha I don't run the risk of breaking the threads when I, when I use a bolt. I like studs and most people prefer studs. Let's pull this out. Um, it says 2021-6, has another Lito Carla QR code. I do feel like it is ever so slightly bulged ever so slightly so let me get let me get them all out and let's see what we what we're dealing with yeah Okay, they are all out, and you can tell. Um, you can tell that they're all a little bit expanded, um, particularly this. These two here, which one is really swollen? This one's a little swollen. They all seem a little swollen, um, but again, I they were not promised to be grade A cells, so. You know, I've received what I paid for. Um, they, they, you know, if they are grade B, they're beautifully rewrapped and in good condition. Let's see what. Um, let's see what um, voltage cells are at. Okay. Uh, here we got gotcha. you. Three point three two. 3.3, no, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29. So actually, it seems like I have four at 3.29 and four at 3.3. So, um, 
Yeah, I bet you anything there were four that were matched to each other and four that were matched to each other, but the eight were not necessarily matched to each other. So I have, yeah, I have four at 3.29 and four at 3.33. Yes. Which is fine. So um, there, are, there are four matched and four matched. Um, I am going to build in 24 volts, which means I'm going to put all eight of these in series. Um, and again, let me open this up. I want these to fit in the bottom of this uh, of this toolbox, and then the bottom shelf can be the bottom shelf will just be batteries, and then um, the top the top uh, shelf. This top shelf here will be uh, inverters and, and um, yeah, inverters and electronics, and then it'll all lock together and be rolling on wheels. Um, so that is the build plan, and these are the batteries. Um, they look, you know, for being as cheap as I could find with no guarantees of being grade A or whatever, they're fine. Um, I will probably capacity test them since it's easier to capacity test these smaller batteries than my massive one. I never capacity tested my massive one just because I had no way to really blow off 15 kilowatts. Um, so this is smaller. This is about three kilowatts. Um, so I think I will I will capacity test these. I will um, I will um, tape them together. Um, uh, with some Kapton tape, uh, just put a little compression on them and probably put some wooden end caps on them. But, you know, overall, um, I hope the bus bars fit with the, with a little bit of swell that I have. Um, this one seems, yeah, this one seems, yeah, this one seems particularly swollen. Um, but honestly, I, I kind of, I kind of don't care. Um, I knew what I was getting when I bought the cheapest kind, and they've arrived. They've they they took over. They took nearly eighty days to arrive, but they have arrived. And um, yeah, I think they'll be fine for this kind of build. I mean, this is going to be you know sort of an emergency solar generator situation, and um, not going to be used regularly like my power wall, which I particularly which I bought grade A cells on purpose for my power wall. These I just wanted as cheap as I could for the capacity. And I think uh, I got a good deal at like $290 ship for 805 um, amp hour batteries. So yeah, there you go. So I'll do another video when I start to assemble these things and when I get the batteries put together.